So, what is Sozo, real briefly? I'm going to read this right off of our page. By the way, Sozo Church Denver, if you're interested, is public now. You can go on a Facebook page, like us. Uh, it's S O Z O Church Denver. I'll put it. I'll put it on the bottom of the screen. Okay. So. I'm going to read this because it's uh, going to be a very interesting uh, thing, but quick. Uh, Sozo Church Denver, a journey to wholeness. Why do we call it a journey to wholeness? Uh, it ex uh, Sozo Church exists to assist you uh, in your journey towards wholeness uh, through the encounter with a loving God. And you say, where does this come from? Everybody goes to John 3.16 about, uh, for God so loved the world. But John 3.17 is the word Sozo, and I'm going to read this to you. For God did not send this, his son into the world to judge the world, but that the world might be saved. And the word there is sozo. In the Greek. Okay? In the Greek, through him. That's what that word is. That's John 3.17. Now I want to read the definition of sozo from the Greek, and this is the quickest way to do it. Sozo is a New Testament Greek word, often translated as saves, uh, which in the fullest form is more than just saying a prayer at the altar. It is the word such as heals restores, delivers, and uh, makes whole. So our hope in all this is what we're doing is, you know, there's a lot of people out there who aren't saved. I have a counseling degree. I went to school for counseling. I believe it's going to come into to play. Uh, I grew up in Key West, so if you're worried about us going to a liberal place, yes, it's very liberal. It's the place where uh, they came up against the people who were making cakes. Same area, Littleton, Colorado is the suburb of Denver. But here's the thing. We have been prepared and been preparing for this for many years. And Sozo, we're going out to heal people. We need your help. We think it's very important what we're doing. We feel called as we do is called anywhere else. We're very excited about this opportunity. We're very excited about doing it and uh, know that God has his hand on it. And, and we've talked about the idea that like we're going to take a few months to really, well, more than a few months. It'll always happen. But we're really going to um, feel the heartbeat of the city, the people, learn yep. the people, get to know the people, get to know the city. And, and our values and our, our church um, institutes and things will form based upon that. But that said, we do feel like what God has called us to do there is to help people experience yes. the transformational love of God. I am sure that, that a lot of the liberal people and those that are not saved in this city have heard a lot of Christians, um, what's the word, uh, condemn them. And we don't bring, to con bring condemnation, and we don't bring acceptance necessarily, but what we do bring is the love of God that is powerful enough to change their lives. And so I think it's, we both feel it's our, our job as a church plant to really show the love of Christ in a transformational way that literally just turns their life upside down. Now let me say this before some of you may say, oh, well, they're going uh, seeker-friendly or, or liberal. No, we're not. We believe and always have believed that the love of God is the foundation of Scripture. Our theology will never change. It will never change. We believe what we believe. We know what Scripture says. But the way we live it out in the city and the way we live it out with them they will know God loves them. And I think that, you know, the Holy, you can show someone scripture all day long, but if the Holy Spirit doesn't draw them, they can't be saved. And so I think, I think it's our job to present the gospel, to present an encounter that they experience his love and then leave the Holy Spirit to do the rest. Um, we didn't come to condemn them, to judge them, but literally bring the truth. And, and see, I mean, I think we're just going to see people's lives set free and change forever. And um, I'm excited about that. Because I am redeemed. Thank God, redeemed.